all right good morning and welcome to master talker online class in today's video we'll be talking about density and relative density all right density is defined as the ratio of mass to the volume of a substance all right the density of a substance is is constant is constant at a given temperature all right the unit of density is uh, kilogram meter per uh, kilogram meter kilogram per meter cube or gram per cm cube all right so density density represent density as rho density is equal to mass over volume mass m over what over volume volume v and mass is measured in kg while volume is measured in meter cube so that's why density is measured in what in kilogram per meter cube or gram per cm cube all right so that is the unit of density so right for me let's talk about the volume the volume of regular shapes the volume of regular shapes all right uh the first one we'll talk about the volume of a cylinder if it's a cylinder the you know, cylinder is a regular shape the volume of a cylinder is given by what the volume of a cylinder is given by um Phi R squared H. Phi R squared H. You need to know all these things. The second one we look at is um, a sphere. The volume of a sphere is given by 4 over 3 pi R uh, cube. Yes. 4 over 3 pi R cube. Okay. So the next one is number 3. is a pyramid. A pyramid. The volume of a pyramid is given by 1 over 3 base times area times height okay sorry the base area times height 1 over 3 base area times height 1 over 3 base area times the height okay so which is what 1 over 3 ah all right so number four that we look at is um the area of a cone i saw the volume of a cone the volume of a cone is given by the volume of a cone is given by 1 over 3 pi r squared h pi r squared h all right 1 over 3 pi r squared h so the next one is number 5 the volume of a cube if it's a cube the volume is simply the length cube l3 the length cube all right then if it's a cuboid it will now be base area times height the last one here we're talking about is a cuboid for a cuboid the volume is simply um the base area times height the base area times the height the base area times height so the next one we'll talk about is now the the volume of um, an irregular shape and the volume of an irregular shape is determined by by um by the formula by relative density let's just say that so we determine the the volume of uh, irregular shape by what I mean the volume of an irregular shape by by the formula okay for irregular shape the volume the volume of irregular shape the volume of irregular shape so they say that the density of an irregular shape example a stone can be determined as follows stone has an irregular shape such that its volume cannot be determined directly since its length since its length width weight cannot be measured properly its density can de can therefore be found by first measuring the mass using a chemical or beam balance and then allow it to immerse or submerge in water containing contained in an eureka eureka can also called the displacement can or the overflow can such that any given volume of water displaced can by the stone will be equal to the volume of the water the volume of the stone so that the density can now be determined so from here to get the what to get the to get the volume of an irregular shape what we do is we carry that irregular shape and immerse it in a water you fill a water like this and put that irregular shape 
So any water displaced, if you measure the volume of that water, the volume of that water will not be equal to the volume of the irregular shape. So volume of the irregular shape is what? Volume, volume of irregular, irregular shape is equal to what? The volume, the volume of water, the volume of water displaced displaced by that irregular shape all right so write that in your book that the volume of an irregular shape is determined by what by the volume of what are displaced by that irregular shape so that is how to get the volume of an irregular shape all right so the next thing we we'll look at um so the next thing we we'll look at is um uh, relative density so the next thing is relative density relative density right now right relative density of a substance is defined as the ratio of the mass of any volume of the substance to the mass of equal volume of water so relative density relative density is simply mass mass of substance mass of substance all over what mass of equal volume of water mass of equal volume of water right uh -huh. don't forget that in relative density that water is always down water is always down so another definition for relative density is what density of substance density of substance all over what the density of equal volume of water density of equal volume of water or density of water you can just say density of water anyone you like is the same uh, uh correct is correct so the next one relative this is what weight the weight of substance all over what weight of equal volume of water the weight of equal volume of water. All right. So the next one is what? Up thrust in water if it is liquid. Okay. You want to get the relative density of a liquid. The relative density. This one are for substance. So the, let, the relative density of liquid is what? Up thrust. Up thrust. Up thrust in, in, that, in that liquid. Up thrust in liquid. All over what the up thrust in water. Okay, so that is the formula for uh, relative density. So now, so what is up thrust? Okay, so from here you can get that um, uh, we can write it. Up thrust means the weight in air minus the weight in that liquid. That is up thrust. Okay, so from here we can say that relative density is simply the weight in air minus the weight in that li in in that liquid okay uh, all over what the weight in air minus the weight in water so that is um uh relative density okay or you can just say weight in air uh, minus weight in water anyone you like okay so that is if it is being immersed in a liquid and then in a water but if it's, if it's just a substance, it will just be weight in air, all of our weight in water. Right? So, right, up thrust. Up thrust, the word thrust means force. The word thrust means force. Then, up thrust means upward force. The force that is pushing and so a substance upward. Okay? So, another name for up thrust means is what? Upward force. So, therefore, up thrust is defined as the, the vertical force that acts on a body in a fluid the vertical force that acts that acts on a body that is inside a fluid for example now if you notice that if you are fetching water from a well okay when the bucket or that substance you are using to fetch water is still inside the well and you are bringing it out or just find something find anything at all and put inside the well okay it may not even be water just find any any substance and put inside the well when the when that substance is still inside the well, if you are pushing it, the the energy you are use you are using to push it 
is very less because there is a force that is pushing it up called an upthrust. But once that object is out of the water, it gains the real weight. Okay, there is no more upthrust. Then you now have to draw it with the real weight. In fact, if you put a, 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 a substance inside the well or inside the water and tell even a child to draw it, a child can even draw it because there's an upthrust that is helping that child to push it. But what it is, once that thing is outside water, out of the water or out of any liquid, it is not just water, out of any liquid, there is no more upthrust. Then you have to face the real weight of that substance. All right? So we need to know that um, upthrust is force. You need to know that what? Upthrust is force. Okay? Uh -huh. Upthrust is force. So, right? Fluid can be, the fluid can be a gas or a liquid. Right? Sometimes it may be a gas. So if the weight of an object is immersed inside the fluid, there will be a loss of weight in the object due to uptrust. And it's true. So we now have that um, a formula formula for uptrust. Uptrust. So we are talking about uptrust. Uptrust. Right? That is upward force. The first formula for uptrust. Uptrust. The first formula for uptrust is what? Density of liquid. Okay? Times the volume. Okay? Then times acceleration due to gravity. Okay? Uh -huh. Density of liquid times volume times acceleration due to gravity. So that is um, your... In fact, do you know that uptrust is force? Let me show you something. Uptrust is force. And you know that force means what? Mass times what? Acceleration due to gravity. But I know that density... Density of liquid is equal to what? The mass of liquid all over what? The volume of that liquid. So if you know that the mass of the liquid will now be what? The density of the liquid times volume of the liquid. So that is why we now have that uptrust. Uptrust. Uptrust is equal to what? Instead of putting this mass, we now say what? Density, volume, and then what? Acceleration due to gravity. So that's another way to get um, your uptrust. Okay? So another formula for uptrust is what? weight in air minus what weight in water okay weight in air minus weight in water that is um up trust okay uh -huh. so another way if it is not it's just not just water it could be a liquid weight another way you can say weight in air minus weight in in liquid so that's why we say that um that relative density of a liquid is what up trust in that liquid all over up trust in water and up trust in liquid is what Weight in air minus weight in that liquid. Okay? So the ultra here will now be what? Weight in uh, uh, air minus weight in water. Okay? You may even use mass. If you want, you use mass. I use mass. Mass in air minus mass in what? In the liquid all over. Mass in air minus what? The mass in water. So that's another formula for up trust. Okay? Uh, so relative density. And it will really help you out in your calculations so let us solve some calculations to illustrate that so before the calculation let us state a principle that is called the archimedes principle the archimedes principle okay all right archimedes principle i'll be archimedes anyone archimedes principle the Archimedes principle stated that when a body is fully or partially immersed in a liquid, that it experiences an upthrust, which is equal to the volume of the liquid displaced by it. Okay? So please note that. That is what Archimedes stated. Archimedes stated that what? That um, when a body is fully or partially immersed in a liquid, that object experiences an upthrust. And that upthrust is equal to the volume of the liquid displaced. So that is what Archimedes principle is saying. Uh, let me let me show you what we mean by that. Now, Archimedes principle. Look at what Archimedes principle is saying. Let us just draw it. If you have this, um, uh, Archimedes is talking about that the upthrust is equal to the volume of the liquid that is being displaced. That if I have uh, a, a something like this filled with a liquid, okay, filled with a liquid, and then Maybe I have a substance, uh, I have a substance, a weight. Let me call that weight W1, okay? That it, it is not yet inside the liquid. Let me say that it is here. 
this is the weight inside this liquid okay then uh, sorry outside the liquid the weight in air then if i now have that same thing now maybe it is now filled if it is now filled then this object is now inside inside this place that is the second weight okay what happened is that once you put the if it is filled eh? well, let me let me reduce like if it is filled once you immerse this liquid inside here it will displace a water okay it will displace that water and if you measure that vo the volume of the water you see that it is equal to the, the weight so that's what uh at media space we say that when a body is fully or partially immersed in a liquid it experiences an uptrust which is sorry uh, that uptrust is equal to the volume displaced okay so look at what he's saying that the uptrust the uptrust uptrust is what the, the weight when it is in air minus weight in water that is what Archimedes is saying that when a body is fully or partially immersed in a liquid it experiences an uptrust which is equal to the volume of the liquid displaced okay or we can say that if you want to use volume this is the volume of the water when you have not immersed something then this is the new volume let me say this is the v v naught original volume and then this is v1 do you know that this v naught is bigger than this the, the the water was filled then once you put this thing it will not be remaining this one so if you want to get the one that fell down the, the water that was displaced you say that what the original water minus the new the remaining water there so this is now the 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 volume of what the water that was displaced and Archimedes said that that volume of that water displaced is equal to up trust so that is what Archimedes principle is talking about all right uh -huh. I hope you understand that principle now so let us solve calculations because that is what I love calculation time is a blessing time all right calculation time is a blessing time so the first question said question number one said convert convert one gram per cm cube density density to its si unit right solution now they gave us one gram per cm cube <clears throat> now converting that is one converting gram to kilogram uh, is dividing by 1000 so they gave us one gram so the mass there is one gram so we want to convert it to kilogram okay in fact the mass is the mass there the mass here is just one gram and the volume the volume is still one one cm cube because one divided by one will still give you one all right so converting gram to cm cube uh, to kilogram i told you that in conversion of units know the one that is smaller and the one that is bigger if you are moving from the smaller one to the bigger one you must divide if you are moving from the bigger one to the smaller one you must multiply so since you are moving from the smaller one gram to kilogram the bigger one will divide and we are dividing by 1000 kilogram all right now look at again we are moving from cm to meter and if you are moving from cm the smaller one to meter you must divide i know that a 100 cm will give you one meter so i'll have one divided by 100 but because it is cube i'll have cube in meter cube all right then density is simply mass over what volume so what is my mass my mass is one over one thousand divided by my volume is uh 100 raised to power three so if you change divide to times you will now have that you now have the what one over one thousand times one over um sorry divided by one over sorry one over 100 uh into three and two three that is 100 raised to power three okay so i now have one zero 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 divided by one changing divide to times this will turn upside down so one two three four cancels one two three four so i'm having a um, 100 uh kilogram per meter cube 100 kilogram per meter cube so let us check uh what they've got they got 1000 kilogram per meter cube so how what what was our mistake okay let's say 100 raised to power 3 100 raised to power 3 246 
two, four, six. Uh -huh. So if you remove three, oh, we remove three, not four. We remove three, not four. So it's remaining three. So it's 1,000. 1,000 kilogram per meter cube. So 1,000 kilogram per meter cube is equal to what? One, uh, one gram per cm cube. So that is our first question. So our second question now, question number two. Question number two said, if, if the relative, relative density, the relative density of a solid, relative density of a solid, um, relative density of a solid cube of side 30 cm is 6.2, what what is the mass the mass of the solid cube okay now don't forget that the the, the density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube or 1 gram per cm cube please note that very important note note that density of water density of water is one gram per cm cube or one thousand kilogram per meter cube please very very important okay solution so what do we do the first thing we get is what the day let's get the density of this solid i know that my relative density is equal to what density of that substance which is a solid cube of that substance which is a solid cube all over what density of water Now, so what do we do now? Uh, since this one is in cm, I can just leave my own in cm, or I can I can use my cm cube. Anyone you like, you will get the same result. Okay. So, um, but if you leave it in cm, then you will now know that the the mass you are getting is should be in gram. So let us work with cm first. Okay. So I have my relative density as six point two. Six point two is equal to density of that solid I'm looking for density of uh let me call density of the the solid cube as roll s roll s density of solid all over the density of water is one i hope you know i want to use gram per cm cube so one gram per cm cube so if you cross multiply you will now see that density of this solid is what 6.2 gram per cm cube i'm leaving my own in gram per cm cube so if this one is in cm cube so I now have that volume is equal to what? L3, which is what? 30 raised to power 3, which is what? Um, 30 raised to power 3. I have 27 three zeros. 27 three zeros. In what? In cm cube. Don't forget, in cm cube. So you now have that your what? Density is equal to what? Mass over volume. So mass is equal to what? Density times volume. So what is my density? 6.2 times my distance is what 27 1 2 3 so what do i have don't forget it must be in gram because we did not convert to kilogram then times 6.2 so we have um we have a 167400 gram so if you want to convert it to kilogram you divide by 1000 so if you divide by 1000 you will not be having that uh, let me finish it up here you will not be having that the mass will not be what one six seven four zero zero divided by one thousand to change it to kilogram so i have one six seven point four kilogram okay one six seven point four kilogram so that is that you want to start with um a cmq but if not we're supposed to convert this thing to meters okay so that my volume will be in meter cube then i'm going to use one thousand kilogram per meter cube here okay so any method is is very very correct so example three Example 3 said 40 cm cube, 40 cm cube of liquid, 40 cm cube of liquid P is mixed, mixed with, with um, 60 meter cube. Hmm. Okay, sorry, 40 meter cube is mixed with 60 meter cube of another liquid. Another liquid Q 
Okay? Then I say if the density, density of P and the Q are 1.0 kilogram per meter cube and 1.6 kilogram per meter cube respectively. Okay, comma. Then I say what is the density of the mixture. Okay. Now to get the density of the mixture, uh, what do we do? We need to get the mass of the mixture and then the volume of the mixture. Then we cannot get the density of the mixture. It's very, very simple. So we have volume of P is equal to 40 uh, meter cube. Volume of Q is equal to what? 60 meter cube. So the volume of what? Uh, P and the Q. Okay? The volume of P and Q, volume of the mixture. Let me call it volume of the mixture, Vm. So the volume of the mixture is equal to what? The volume of P plus the volume of Q, which is what? Uh, 40 plus 60, which is what? 100 cm cube. All right? So now, let us get their individual masses. Okay? I know that density is equal to what? Mass over volume. So mass is equal to what? Density times volume, which is what? The density of P. The density of P times the volume of P. That is the mass of P. Then the mass of Q is equal to what? Mass of Q is the density of Q times the volume of Q. So what do we have? Uh, mass of P, uh, volume of P. Density of P is 1 times volume of P is 40. So which will give you what? 40 kilograms. So the same thing here. 1.6 times 60. So what do you have? 1.6 times 60. So what do you have? 96. 96 kg. So the mass of the mixture, mass of the mixture is simply mass of P plus mass of Q. Okay? So what do we have? Uh, 40 plus 96, which will give you what? 40 plus 96 plus 40. So you have 136. 136 kilogram. Alright? So now, uh, permit me to finish it up here. So to get the density of the mixture simply means the mass of the mixture over the volume of the mixture. So the density of the mixture is now the mass of the mixture all over the volume of the mixture. So mass of the mixture is what? The mass of the mixture gave us 136 divided by the volume of the mixture is 100. So you now have what? 1.36 kilogram per meter cube. Okay? So that is now the density of the mixture. Okay? Question number... Question number four. Question number four. Question number four said, an empty, an empty, an empty relative density bottle weighs weighs 80, 18 gram comma yeah say it weigh it weighs 48 gram when when filled when filled with kerosene and and 58 gram when filled with water you now say find find the density of the kerosene find the density of the kerosene okay now solution now uh the first thing we get is the weight the first thing they gave us is the weight in air that is when there is air inside no no liquid nothing nothing so the weight in air is 18 gram. Okay. So the weight in water is equal to what? The weight in water is um okay. Weight in kerosene first. Weight in kerosene is a uh, 48 gram. And then weight in water is equal to what? 58 gram. So I know that relative density is equal to what? Up trust. Up trust. Up trust in that kerosene, that liquid. 
of trust in kerosene or let me call it liquid any liquid but we're using kerosene here so of trust in liquid that is the kerosene all over what of trust in water so and what is of trust weight in that uh weight in kerosene minus weight in air all over what the weight in water minus weight in air that is of trust so what do we have we have a 48 minus 18 divided by 58 minus 18 so what do you have so i have um 48 minus 48 minus 18 to have 30 over 40 right over 40 so which will give you 3 over 4 okay and don't forget that relative density does not have any si unit so you can get your answer in point if you want to i just want to use 3 over 4 to get your answer in decimal if you like so now but i know again that relative density what i know again is that the relative density is equal to what uh, density density let me call it rule density of that kerosene all over what density of water okay but everybody know the density of water as what 1000 kilogram per meter cube or one gram per cm cube is it not true so we since we are using gram here we are going to use one gram per cm cube all right so my relative density i've gotten it as what three over four is equal to what density of kerosene uh divided by what uh density of water and density of water is one so if you cross multiply you have that four uh, pk is equal to in fact anything divided by one is the same thing so pk is still the same okay uh let me get my answer in points it's the same thing your three over four is my this my answer so uh three divided by four will give you 0 0.75 0 0.75 okay so I now have, or oh, let me use that same 0 0.75. So 0 0.75 is equal to density, density of kerosene all over 1. So cross multiply, I have that density of kerosene is now 0 0.75 kilogram, sorry, gram per cm cube. Gram per cm cube. All right? So that is that for that. That is for question number. That is for question number. Four. So let's move to question number five. So you see, this thing is very, very simple. So question number five. Question number five said an empty, an empty sixty liters, sixty liter. I hope you know that liter means a uh, dm cube, which is volume. They are talking about volume there. So uh, an empty sixty liters petrol tank has a mass of 10 kg calculate calculate its its mass calculate its mass when when full when full of fuel of relative density 0 0.72 okay solution okay this is a very simple something so what do we do um we need to convert to the real si unit so they gave me that the volume of this empty gas uh, empty tank the volume of the empty tank let me call it how do i call it v empty do i call it v empty okay volume of the empty uh, bottle is equal to what 60 liters liters is sent in as dmq please 60 liters which is sent as 60 dm cube all right we are not using dm cube what we are using is um is um cm cube okay and, or or meter cube what we are using is either cm cube or meter cube so it depends on the one you want to use okay so if you want to convert from dm cube to meter cube from dm cube to meter cube is 1000 okay uh -huh. so if you want to convert from dm cube to meter cube you divide by 1000 so which is something as what 60 divided by 1000 which is what 0 0.06 meter cube okay 
so that is the density that is the density of the empty bottle but we have the mass of this empty bottle uh, sorry the volume of the empty bottle we know the mass of this empty bottle as what 10 kg all right so then the density of the empty bottle will now be what the mass of the empty bottle divided by the volume of the empty bottle which is what 0 0.06 divided by 10 which will give you what? 0 0.006 in what in kilogram per meter cube okay so they say we now that we should calculate the density okay uh, they say that calculate its mass when filled uh, when full of fuel of relative density this okay so now all right so we know that um uh what else do we know we know that watch uh we know that um let's get the density of the fuel yes we know that relative density is equal to what the density of fuel all over what the density of water uh -huh. so what do we have the relative density they gave us is 0 0.7 so 0 0.72 is equal to what the density of this fuel all over 1000 because we are using kilogram per meter cube so the density of the fuel is equal to what 0 0.72 times 1000 okay which is what 72 0 7, 1 2 3 7, 720 720 kg per meter cube okay so they say we should find i know that density of this fuel is now what the mass of the fuel all over what the volume of that fuel and the volume of the fuel is the same as the volume that will enter inside this empty can because this empty can is 60 liters so if you start putting fuel you get filled so the volume of fuel you are putting is that 60 liters so we now have that the mass of this fuel will now be what the density of the fuel times the volume of the fuel so the density of the fuel is 720 times the volume of the fuel is still this 0 0.06 this thing so if you multiply I have 45 so 45 kilogram so 45 kilogram is the what the mass of the fuel all right so what we got is the mass of the fuel but they say that calculate its mass when full of fuel okay this is the mass of the fuel so but the mass the mass of the field the mass of the field can now the mass mass of Field mass of the can when filled with fuel. Mass of field fuel. Please write your own stat statement very well. Mass of the can now. Mass of this bottle when filled with fuel will now be equal to will now be equal to the em the mass when it is empty. That is ten. The mass when it is empty ten plus what when it is now the mass of the of the fuel. So if you add the two of them, you now have it. So I'm having um that is fifty five fifty five kg okay so that is the mass when it is filled with fuel seven twenty sorry seven twenty my calculator is about seven twenty times zero point zero six okay forty three point two sorry this is forty three forty three point two so forty three point two so which will give you uh 53.2 kg okay so that is that let's solve the next question see that density and not trust is the simplest uh topic in physics that's the simplest so we get the next one the next question and an empty an empty relative density bottle weigh weighs 30 gram when empty and 65 gram when filled when filled with paraffin paraffin oil okay then i say calculate the mass the mass of the bottle calculate the mass of the bottle calculate the mass of the bottle when 
filled when filled with with water okay then i gave you that the relative density of the oil is is 0 0.8 solution okay don't forget that the first thing they give us is the weight in air the weight when it is empty that is weight in air which is 30 gram then the weight when it is filled with uh, paraffin weight of paraffin is equal to what, 65 gram so then we are asked to find the weight when it is filled in water but i know that relative density is equal to what up trust up trust in that liquid which is paraffin oil up trust in oil okay up trust in um, in that oil paraffin oil in paraffin all over what up trust in water so they gave me that relative density is 0 0.8 so i will say 0 0.8 is equal to up trust means the weight in that paraffin minus the weight in what air okay up trust in water means the weight in that water minus the weight in air okay so let me now put everybody now so let me say relative density first so relative density which is 0 0.8 is equal to weight in paraffin is 65 minus weight in air 30 all over weight in water that i'm looking for minus weight in air which is 30 so if you cross multiply you'll be having if you cross multiply you will now be having that um that 0 0.8 in bracket of weight in air minus uh 30 is equal to what 65 minus this 65 minus 30 so you now have them um, if you like you open bracket but i want to say weight in air minus 30 is equal to let me subtract this one 65 minus 30 is 35 okay it's 35 so let me just put 0 0.8 i don't want to confuse you 0 0.8 so if i want this weight in air minus 30 to stay alone i'll say 35 divided by 0 0.8 so i have weight in air uh, in water minus 30 is equal to so divided by 0 0.8 you now have 43.75 so this one cross you now have that the weight in water will now be 43.75 plus 30 which is what weight in water will now be what 73.75 uh is in gram in gram okay so that is that for that that is approximately 74 according to what they got all right so that is that see this is very 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 simple very 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 simple so the next one we talk about is um an object of volume of volume 40 cm cube and density 1.2 gram per cm cube is suspended suspended from a spring a spring balance with half of its volume immersed immersed in water find the reading on the spring on the spring balance okay find the reading on the spring balance mm. okay now first of all let us get the mass of this object let's get the mass of this object all right uh -huh. the mass of the they say the okay a spring balance is used to measuring mass right I think it's used in measuring mass so we're asked to calculate the mass okay okay so now let us get the mass of this spring balance sorry the mass of this object they gave us the volume of this object to be what 40 cm cube and the density of this object to be what 1.2 gram per cm cube 
and I know that density is equal to mass over volume. So mass will now be what? The density times volume. So the mass of the object will now be the density, which is 1.2 times 40 the volume. So what do I have? Uh, 1.2 times 40. 1.2 times 40. So I have 48. 48 gram. This is the mass of this object. Okay? Now, another problem now is that um, that this stuff is now immersed inside a liquid, a water, with half of the volume. Okay? It was immersed with half of the volume. Okay? So now let's get the mass of the liquid now. The mass of this liquid. You know that the volume displaced is the volume. So we want to get the volume of the water displaced. Okay? The volume of the water displaced, volume of the water displaced is half, half of this volume. Half of this original volume, which is 1 over 2 times 40, which is equal to what? 20 cm cube. All right? But I know that density of water, I know that density of water is 1 gram per, per cm cube. So therefore, the mass of water is now what? Density of water times volume of that water, which is what? 1 times 20, which is what? 20 gram. All right? So 20 gram. Now, this is the mass of the water displaced. So the reading, the reading of this thing now will now be will now be up trust. Okay. Up trust is now the reading of this spring balance. So up trust is the reading of the spring balance. Up trust. And what is up trust? Weight, the bigger one. You can say the bigger one, weight in air or mass in air minus mass in water. Just say the bigger one minus the smaller one. So I have my 48 minus 20. So this is the mass displaced. So what do I have now? No, this one is not okay. Rather, it's not really the up trust, anyways. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's call it that. Uh, up trust, watch up trust, up trust, up trust is equal to what the mass in air minus the mass. Sorry, plus eh? up trust, what sorry, the, ma the mass in water minus the mass in air. Is it not true? That is my up trust. Okay, um, so uh, and the up trust. Is the, is the mass of the water displaced. So, half of it was the one that displaced. So, the up trust is the 20. Okay? Uh -huh. 20 uh, is equal to what? The mass, the mass of the water. That is what we are looking for. The mass, when it is inside of water, that is the, the reading of the spring balance. So, the mass of the water, let me call it mass of water, minus this one, which is what? 48. Is that... I think there is a mistake somewhere. Uh, the mass in air. The reading of the spring balance. Okay, this is the mass of this. Oh, no, the reading of this spring balance, sorry. The reading of the spring balance is simply the mass of that object minus mass of water. So that's the reading of the spring balance. So the reading of the spring balance. Uh, so the reading of the spring balance. Reading. Reading of the spring balance is equal to what that's 48 minus 20 which is what 38 uh, sorry 28 gram so this is the reading of the spring balance all right so the next question we're going to solve about hmm, about um let's say 14 to 15 questions be ready so the next question so that any type of question that comes from a uh, density and up trust you can solve it so question number eight we are now in number eight number eight said if the relative density if the relative density of gold is 19.2 comma calculate the volume the volume of 2.4 gram of gold calculate the volume of 2.4 gram of gold okay Calculate the volume of 2.4 gram of gold. Solution. Now, calculate the volume of... Okay, so the first thing they gave me is the relative density of gold, which is what? 19.2. Okay, so... But they didn't give me the density. But I know that the density of water is equal to what? 1 gram per cm cube. I'm using gram because I'm seeing gram here. Okay, I know that relative density is equal to what? Density of that gold. All over what? The density of water. So what do I have? Relative density is 19.2 is equal to the density of the gold all over what? 1. So density of the gold will now be cross multiplied. 
to have this times one which is 19.2 gram per cm cube i have gotten the density of this gold so from the density of the gold we can now get the mass of the gold or the volume of the gold sorry they gave us the mass of this gold is equal to what 2.4 gram and i know that density of gold should be what mass of gold all over the volume of gold so the volume of gold they say i should find will not be what mass of gold all over the density of that gold very simple so what's the mass of the gold they gave me 2.4 divided by the density of the gold 19.2 so if you now do that you have um uh 2.4 2.4 divided by divided by 19.2 so you have uh 0 0.125 in what in gram sorry in cm cube sorry in cm cube okay if you want it in meter cube you divide by what so it will now be which is what 0 0.125 divided by 100 that has cube don't forget uh -huh. So it will now be what divided by 100 divided by another 100 divided by another 100. So they gave you hmm, zero points. How many zeros? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then one, two, five, which is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is one point two five times ten raised power minus seven in what in meter cubes so that is the volume of the gold the volume of that gold all right so that is that mm -hmm. okay so the next one I hope I didn't make mistake. So we have the next question, question number nine. Question number nine said a copper, a copper cube weigh 0 0.25 Newton in air. Okay, comma. 0 0.17 when immersed when completely when completely immersed in paraffin paraffin oil right and 0 0.15 newton when completely immersed immersed in water what is the ratio what is the the ratio of up trust in paraffin to up trust in water i hope you know that relative density this is just as asking you relative density because relative density is what ratio of that oil the substance uh, of that liquid to ratio of water so they, they are simply asking me the relative density relative density is what up trust up trust in what in that oil the paraffin oil All over what? Up trust in what in water. So an up trust means what? The weight in air, the weight in air minus the weight in that paraffin. In that paraffin. Paraffin oil. All over what? The weight in air minus the weight in water. So what do we have? Weight in air is um zero point two five minus 0 0.17 all over 0 0.25 minus 0 0.15 so what do you have 0 0.25 0 0.25 minus 0 0.17 you have 0 0.08 over 
you have 0 0.1 so if you divide them you have what uh, 0 0.08 divided by my answer so i have 0 0.8 so 0 0.8 and what is 0 0.8 if you change 0 0.8 to fraction because i want to put it in ratio 0 0.8 you have 10 that is 8 over 10 and 8 over 10 is uh, 4 over 5 okay so you have that the ratio the ratio is what 4 is to 5 is the ratio 4 is to 5 is the ratio okay so 4 is to 5 is the ratio so i want to put the ratio that's why i had to divide and reduce it to the lowest so that is that for that so the next thing question number 10 we are moving question number 10 said an object an object weighs 25 newton in air comma 22 newton when immersed when immersed wholly wholly in water right and 22.6 when immersed when immersed in a liquid in a liquid x they say calculate i the relative density of the object i i the relative density of the liquid of the liquid x solution okay i know that um relative density of the object is what uh, weight in air over what that is up thrust in air eh? it weighs this okay relative density of object is weight in air all over up thrust in water okay when we have up thrust in two of them is when it is liquid liquid so relative density of object is what weight weight in air all over up thrust in water you understand now so what i have here is only weight in air which is what 25 all over what up thrust in water is what uh weight in water that is weight let me write it like this weight in air all over that weight in air minus weight in in water okay so i have what 25 divided by what 25 minus uh 22.6 so what do you have uh what do you have now so where when immersed in sorry 22 when immersed in water so i have 22 here just 22 so that is 25 over 3 25 over 3 will give you divide 8.3 8.3 don't forget that relative density does not have any SI units. Okay, so now let's talk about the the relative density of the liquid, the liquid X. It should be what up thrust because it is liquid. Up thrust in liquid, all over what up thrust in water. Okay, so up thrust in liquid is what weight in air minus weight in that liquid. All over what the weight in air again minus weight in water so what do i have 25 minus 22.6 all over 25 minus 22 so what do i have 22.6 will give you 2.4 right i had 2.4 over what three and 2.4 over three will give you 0 0.80 okay so that is the relative density of the liquid very very simple density and off thrust is just the simplest topic that's the simplest topic okay question number 11 question number 11 said an object an object has mass 10 kg in air okay and 6 kg when completely when completely immersed When completely immersed in liquid, okay, in water. That's a calculate the volume of the object and its density. 
solution. Okay, they gave us the mass of this object, the mass of this object in air, mass of the object in air, mass, mass in air. Okay, let me say MA, mass in air. The mass in air is equal to 10 kg. Then, but the mass in water is equal to what? 6 kg. I know that what? The relative density of an object is simply the mass in air all over the up thrust in water. So what do I have? What's the mass in air? 10 minus up thrust in water is what? 10 minus 6, which is what? 10 divided by 4. So what do you have as the relative density? 10 divided by 4. So I have 2.5. So 2.5. No SI unit. This is the relative density. But I know again, I know something again, that relative density is equal to what? The density. Density of that object all over what? The density of water. So relative density I have is 2.5 all over the density of that object, role of that object all over. Density of water is 1,000. Why am I using 1,000? Because I'm seeing kilogram here. So the density of object is now what? 2.5 times 1,000, which is what? 2,500. 0, 2, in what? Kilogram per meter cube. So this is the density of this object. Okay? So they say that the mass of the object in air, this is the mass. So to get the volume of the object, I know that density of object is equal to mass of object all over the volume of the object. So the volume of the object will now be the mass of this object divided by the density of this object. So what's the mass of this object? 10 divided by the density, 2500. 0, 0. So what do you have? 10 divided by 2500. 0, 0. So I have 0 0.04. 0 0.004 in what? In meter cube. So 0 0.004 in meter cube is the density of this um, density of this object. Okay? So we move. This is very, very simple. Uh, the volume of that object, sorry. The next question said calculate, calculate the up thrust. Calculate the up thrust of a liquid. Liquid on, on an object of volume 2 meter cube, which is completely immersed in a liquid of density 13600 kg per meter cube. Solution. Okay? So they say that calculate up thrust. I told you that up thrust is a force. Don't forget that up thrust. Up thrust is a force. And what is force? Force is mg. Mass times acceleration due to gravity. Is it not true? But I know that density is what? Mass over volume. So mass now will now be what? Density times volume. So if I now replace it here, you now see that up thrust is same. Instead of putting this mass, I can say density times volume times acceleration due to gravity. So what's the density of this thing? 13600 0, 0, times the volume is 2 times 10 the acceleration due to gravity so if you multiply everything you'll be having um you'll be having 272000 0, 0, 0, 0, in what in in newton because it is a force in newton okay very simple the next question <laughs> I hope you are getting it anyways, and I hope I'm not rushing. Question number 12. Sorry, question number 13. 13 said, a body, a body of density, a body of density, 9 gram per cm cube, 9 gram per cm cube, appears, appears to have a mass of, 25 gram in a liquid in a liquid of density 0 0.8 gram per cm cube then I say what is the volume what is the volume of the solid
what is the volume of the solid solution okay um they say that a body of hmm, a body of density this okay they gave us the density appears to have um hmm, appears to have a mass of this in a liquid okay this is the mass inside this liquid okay then what is the volume you know that relative density is um what do we do they gave us the a body of mass this is the mass a body of density a body of density okay this is the density the density of this thing is um nine density of this body of this object is nine gram per cm cube appears to have a mass of this this is the mass okay in a liquid of density this hmm. that's the what is the volume so we need to get the mass in air but we don't know the mass in water so let me check before i make mistake okay hmm. a body of <laughs> a body a body of density 9 gram per cm cube appears to have a mass of this in a liquid of density this okay so the volume display should be the same volume so let me first of all get the volume uh, the volume or that is display, the part the volume of the, the 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 liquid so when the mass this is the density of this the density of this liquid is equal to what the mass of the liquid all over the volume so you now have that the volume should not be what the mass all over the density so what is the mass there 25 all over 0 0.8 so what do we have 25 divided by 0 0.8 25 divided by 0 0.8 so what do we have i have 31.25 in um, cm cube hmm. 31.25 cm cube okay so what do we do ah there's a problem okay they say what is the volume let me see what they, they say let the mass of the body in air be x but the mass of this in liquid okay uh imagine this so the mass of the liquid displaced is this okay density of the this is this the density of the liquid is this so the volume of the, the solid is this so but the volume of the solid is equal to the volume of the displaced okay All right. Problem. Okay. A body of density. A body of density. In fact, let this be an assignment. Let me not rack my brain. In the next video, we will solve it. So let it, let me check my time. Ah, it's one one hour. So solve it. Thank you.